Whenever you're investing in securities, you need to assess how your gain will be taxed, as this can make a huge difference on your overall performance. To give you some context, let me show you three portfolios with the exact same gross returns. So let's say you are expecting an annualized gross return of 10% over the next 25 years. Based on those three investment strategies, with the first strategy, you're not paying any taxes, you will have a capital of 1 million after 25 years. On the second strategy, all of your income will be taxed and you will only have a capital of 542,000 after 25 years. So you're losing 50% just because of the effect of taxes. And the third one, this is one of the most common portfolio that you can find for Swiss resident. And based on this profile, you would have a capital of 768,000 after 25 years. So there you will be losing 30% if we're comparing to the first strategies just because of taxes. This is why you really need to take into consideration your tax profile when you're investing. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and this is my pleasure to guide you through the Swiss taxes for Swiss residents. I have more than 10 years working as a senior accountant, tax expert for individuals. In order to assess how much you're due in taxes, you need to find out the following. Firstly, you need to calculate your marginal tax rate. And secondly, you need to assess whether you're generating capital gain or taxable income. There is a bad news and there is a good news. The bad news is that all of your dividend and interest will be taxed at your marginal tax rate. The good news is that your capital gain are tax-free if if only you respect the following five criteria. Number one, you hold your securities for at least six months before you sell them. So no short-term trading, guys. Number two, the transaction volume of all of your securities combined is not higher than five times the total value of your securities at the start of the year. So it means only few transactions a year. Number three, the capital gain generated through your securities trading do not account for a significant portion of your basic income. So wrap it up, it should not represent more than 50% of your net income as a rule of thumb. Number four, you use your own assets to finance the purchase of securities. Avoid lending from your broker or make sure that you're investing in securities that delivers higher interest or higher dividends. Number five, if you invest using derivatives and options in particular, these can be used to hedge your own securities. If you do not follow those criteria, then you will be considered as a professional trader and all of your income generated through this business will be taxed at your marginal tax rate and you will also need to pay social charges as well. So this is why you really need to implement an investment strategy that respects those simple rules so that your capital gain will not be taxed. So what are the best assets to hold as a Swiss resident? There are quite a few factors to assess, such as the expected return, the expected volatility, the correlation between each other, taxes. So let's assume that all of those assets have the same profile. If you only analyze tax-wise, what are the best assets to hold? With a low marginal tax rate, you do not have much limitation. The tax rate of 10% will have an impact but if you really like certain asset class, I would go for it. With a medium and a high marginal tax rate, we would rather invest in commodities, stock, bonds that deliver only capital gain. However, this is not easy to find since both stocks and bonds usually deliver both a capital gain and a dividend or interest. One of the solutions is to invest through your second or your third pillar since all of your capital tax gain, interest, dividend are not taxable. If you need more information, I have made a video on your third pillar. Another solution which is for high income earner is to create a Swiss holding company that will hold all of your assets that deliver high interest and high dividends. They will be taxed at a rate of 10 or 15%, depending on where your company is located, and you will constantly reinvest all of your income through your company. As we've seen, we need to find some stock that offers some growth and do not pay any dividend. So if you want to know what is my personal favorite stock for Swiss residents, please download my ebook in the description below. Let's move on to the most common questions. If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to leave a comment below. What about gold? It's a 100% capital gain and it can be tax-free if you respect the five criteria that we have mentioned before. ETF are a specific investment legal structure that are considered as transparent. This is why I recommend to invest in distributing ETFs only, as this will be easier for you to fill in your tax return. If you're investing in accumulating ETF, then you will need to figure out how much dividend the fund has received from its investment, which most of the time is not available for the investors. No issues with that. You're allowed to use option, futures, forward to hedge your positions, without being considered as a professional. 
I believe that it will be the most common questions. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video.